Hey, let's play and welcome back to more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic with me, Hero They Call Me. Uh, from what you saw in the last stream, uh, Kahlo uh, just completely killed me and wiped my character. He uh, deleted it, if you would. Uh, but, um, yeah, so I had to uh, remake Dendon Danello, so things might not be the same. You know, some different uh, tires, maybe, different weapons. Uh, stats might are definitely different. I definitely rebuilt my character, so he's not 100% the same, but, you know, we're where we're at. That's what matters. Uh, what's up, Dwiz? How you doing? Anyways, let's uh, go see Kahlo. And this time, we're not going to kill him. Or fight him, no I should way. say. Because that would, that would be a mistake. We'll just skip this, because we read it all last time. Three. Big deal. We see Kahlo kill everybody. Everybody dies. <laughs> you know, all that, all that good jazz. And uh, I believe, yeah, we're not supposed to talk to him. We're just gonna, we're just gonna let you walk by, Kalo Nord. Not messing with you this time. Don't feel like getting put it, like wiped into exist uh, existence again. Because uh, wiped from existence, I should say. Because uh, that wasn't a fun time, that's for sure. <laughs> Luckily, we weren't uh, we weren't too far away from where we had to be, but anywho. Okay, so we came down here to fight. What's his face? Skella, Bib Blue Blar, Zax. <laughs> Couple bounty hunters. Okay, so Zax is obviously uh, the guy that's sending the bounties for people. I see. Can't you see I'm auditioning? This is my shot at the big time. I can't risk screwing it up by talking to you. Okay. Uh, what's the use? There's no way Bib's going to hire me unless he gets a chance to see me dancing with a partner. Maybe I should just give up. Uh, maybe I could be your partner, girl. I like the aliens. I mean, I'm getting desperate. I hate to blow this audition, but I don't know if I'm ready to just pair up with a random passerby. How do I know you're any good? You know, how hard can it be? <laughs> you think it's that easy? I'm trying to hear so. <laughs> if you think you can just step up and start dancing at a professional level, you better think again. Uh, I'm good enough to get you through an audition, maybe. There you go. Well, you do have a certain look about you. Confidence of movements is sigh. I guess you'll have to do, but I'm warning you. Don't screw this up. Mr. Surul, I've got a partner now. I'd really like to audition for you again. Okay, Lynn. you got one more chance. I'll give you a, uh, I'll give you a minute to get your partner set up, and let's see what you got. Okay, i got time to watch you for three more dances. Make them count. This is going to be like DDR. <laughs> just all my lead room, and the more complicated our steps are, the closer we dance, the more it impresses Bib. But don't get in too close if you can't handle it. I don't need some clumsy O tripping me up. Try not to squeeze up for me, okay? Yeah, dance. Dance Dendon. Uh, join Lynn and dance beside her. Join Lynn by dancing very close beside her. Join Lynn by dancing very close to face to face. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Tug. <laughs> Oh, very impressive. Good technique. Good rhythm. Good synchronization. Nice. Tight spacing. Are you sure partner's arms? Partner's ain't. Partner ain't amateur. What? Partner's an amateur. What the fuck? Ugh. <laughs> Just ripped my tongue out of my mouth. You quit trying to upstage me. This is my dish, not yours. Now listen, we made a good first impression, so you might want to take it down a notch for the next dance, just so you, you don't do anything stupid. Just follow my lead again. All right, what are we gonna do this time? We're gonna get up up the close. Oh, she's got the arm poles now. Uh, by running around her in circles while she dances. <laughs> go Dendon, go Dendon, go, go Dendon, go Dendon, go, 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 go. <laughs> what was that? This new ever seen. <laughs> The comedy act here. I want to dance in that class. Come on, Lynn. Fold together. One last chance. Let's go. You idiot. What were you thinking? I had a better chance dancing with a drunken Gamorian. You're going to ruin me. we got one dance left, and we're going to have to pull it all out. Stops. Don't hold anything back this time. Pay attention to my moves to join them. Don't screw up. What is that? What is this? That's my new dance. I'm going to go to a club. Uh, but dancing very close and face to face. By taking a dive. <laughs> I'm not going to take a dive. Uh, let's go beside her. Why not? Look at me. 
I got the same moves you do. Chug, chug. <laughs> oh, God, this is stupid. Looking good, looking very good. I feel the music let it flow through you. Some sweet dance moves. Well, what do you think? Do I get the job? Do you want me to dance some more? I can do another one if you want. I get the job. Lexan, you made it. You got the job. Welcome to the Starlight Entertainers. I made it. I really made it. It's incredible. I don't believe it. Believe it, kid. You're in. Now we need to get you fitted for your outfits. We need to start rehearsals. You got contracts to sign. Let's go. Busy, busy, busy. The life of a star. Thank you. I couldn't have made it without you. I'd give you a big hug, but, well, frankly, you're a little beneath me now. Like Bib said, I'm going to be a star. You're a bitch. But if you're ever traveling the galaxy and you see the Star Starlight Entertainers porn, stop by and ask for Lynn. I'll see if I can get you some free tickets. Cool. Just in that shit low key. Is she going to be a stripper? I believe so. I think that's exactly what she was signing up for. Anyways, let's talk to uh, Zax. Not even seen you here before, human. You are not here to bounty hunting office. Yes, my name is Zax. I'm the one in charge here. Are you looking for work? There are many bounties available here. Legal and otherwise. But they all play quite well. Quite well. Oh, are you here for information? Everyone knows I'm one of Davik's age best agents. I'm the Hut with all the answers. Pizza the Hut. Uh... You have the Rakul serum? It's worth 1,000 credits to Tavik. What does Tavik want with the serum so badly? Medicine is big business. I already know what he wants. Uh, that's monstrous. I don't have the serum. No, I don't have it yet. But, um... Tell me about... I've got a bounty I want to collect on. Well, human. That's what I'm here for. Which bounty are you collecting on? Uh, Matric. A traitor. Matric is now dead. A dead traitor, that is. This is a lesson for anyone thinking about turning against the exchange. 300 credits. Price for all bounties. Oh, give me 400. Right. You're a brave human to bargain with the huts. But I like you. Okay, it's 400 it is. You do good work, human. There's lots of bounty hunters on Terrace, but most are lazy. Maybe if you keep cash and bounties, they'll work harder. <laughs> Should have fucked her. Wow. <laughs> Should have fucked her over. Should have fucked her. Yep. Sure, guys. Uh, Largo. I'm better than to run. Maybe now people will learn the lesson. You owe Davik money, you pay. 300 credits. You give me 400. What? Worked the first time? Uh, yep, throw a word if you know it's good for your sex. <laughs> yeah. You're not too smart, you but smart people don't threaten engage with Davik. You don't scare me, but you just made me mad. Maybe you'll learn, need to learn a lesson. Maybe I just won't pay you anything for the bounty that you that will teach you some respect, wouldn't it? You want to reconsider and take 300 human? You can't talk to me like this, whatever. I want my money. Uh, what other information? He has information, but it's not free. Uh, it seems a little high. I'll give you 50 credits. Yeah. Sip quarantine makes it hard to earn credits, and Davy gets mad when his agents don't bring in enough. Give me 50, but don't tell anyone. I'll give you a deal or anything. I want to bargain and get out of this business. Good. Now that you paid the fee, you can come back and ask questions anytime. You won't have to pay again. Nobody ever said I wasn't a ferret. What information do you want now? Uh, yeah, tell me about the escape pods. Escape pods? You shouldn't bother with them. When they crashed, the Black Volker gang got the first and cleaned them out. If there was anything valuable inside of those crash pods, it's inside the Volker base now. Well, that's how I know. You need to get inside the Volker base. Why? You need to get shot full of blaster holes? Only the Volkers get in the Volker base, unless maybe the hidden Bex can help you out. Got a problem with the Volkers? You go see Gad and Thek. He's the leader of the hidden Bex, a rival gang. He's a smart man. Maybe he can help you. Uh, sure. Uh, I want information on something else. There's something, uh, tell me about Davik, tell me about the lower city gangs. Uh, I'm fine, I'll be going now. Bye. Hey, I'm still kind of 50 credits. Take it. Rich boys be rich. Rich boys be rich. Oh. Ooh, who's this guy? What do you want? You know who you're messing with? I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like Bantha Poodoo. Ooh, rough little girl should not be in bar. There's no place for a little girl. If little girl's smart, she run away home now. Who you call a little girl, Chuba Face? Ooh, Chuba Face. The little girl needs lesson in manners. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. 
Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise. Dude, do I get to have a Wookiee on my team? Because that'd be the best. We no want trouble with Wookiee. Our problem with you, little girl. Well, too bad. Your problem with Wookiee now. Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Duh, dude. I want to talk to you, you little loser. No? Okay, Wookie man. Zalbar. Why are you bothering me, uh, hey, emo Wookie? No need to be rude. Big Z, you want to call him Chera. But Wookies ain't much for conversation, you know? Yo, what's up, Calm of Duty? How's it going? You know how you would have found me if it wants to stop being on Twitch? Uh, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, everything, man. <laughs> I say it all the time that I moved to Mixer. I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Cool. Hey, we speak the same language, yeah, no shit, that's weird. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend That's an initial name, an, 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 an interesting name. God damn. But if there's anything else you need... Good old Ishin names. Uh, how do a Wookiee and a Twi'lek street urchin end up as best friends? I'll ask you some questions. Yeah, why not? It kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. You came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Bullshit. Uh, yo, tell me about Kalo Nord. Kalo Nord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridium Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time. Way beneath a bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Kalo's been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. <laughs> for some reason I read that as he'll be getting his rocks off. I was like, ooh. Kalo, alright. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the lower city. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are like <laughs> I've seen Kalo kill someone's character. I've seen Kalo wipe someone off the face of the, the world. Fucked him up so bad he messed up his brain. I thought he was a Sith. Didn't wear any clothes. Took over the Volkers. He was a hidden back. Gadden considered that ungrateful space lug his adopted son. Uh. When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Bresic in his place. But Gadden figured Bresic wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Bresic was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his backs from the face of Terrace. The war in the lower city is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. All right, well, thanks. Uh, I got to tell me the Davik, why not, right? Syndicate. But I guess everyone knows Knowledge is power. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operation, the Evan <clears throat> Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there. Except the people working for Davik and the exchange. Alright, so it sounds like I could either break into the lower one of the lower city gangs place. Or I can break yeah, into da or get Davik Davin's trust. No action and around here. Maybe Come on, Big Z, Maybe there's two ways off this planet. But I haven't finished eating. I want the Wookiee. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Like an experience for talking to people? I guess it's like part of the mission. Gain experience or whatever. Holden, that's the boy we're looking for. Oh, sorry. 
I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. I don't normally go <laughs> these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. Know what I mean? The guy who put the bounty on Dea's head, right? Yeah. You hear about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done. No, I'm here to take you out, boy. What she did. That wench tried to cut me with her vibro blade. Why would she do that? I want the bounty on Dea's head removed, man. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. Uh, no. If you hire someone to kill Daya, it will look like you weren't mad enough to do it yourself. <laughs> yeah, boy. If I let her get Damn. with it. I'll look even worse. She's got to pay, either with a life or two hundred credits to buy my forgiveness. Uh, oh yeah, I'll kill him. I'll kill him. I don't give a shit, man. Uh, you're threatening me. I am. I work for David Kang. I don't care if who you, you work for. If you kill me, you'll be signing your own <laughs> death warrant. Do it. Damn, I can't threaten him. That's bullcrap. Uh, if you hire someone to kill Dai, it'll look like you were man enough. I'll, kill I'll go talk to Dai and see if I come up with the credits. So it's either I kill her or I pay him 200 credits, right? You know, fuck it. Here's 200 credits. I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I don't feel like going all the way back to the top of the city there, so. <laughs> That's how lazy I am. Was that guy's name Berth? Oh, Biff. I thought it was in birth. Uh, let me get out of here. I think that's it for this place. Yeah, I think we did everything we could in here. So it seems. Uh, make sure we don't have any other more bounties. I didn't even bother to uh, ask what's his face. What do you want now? Uh, I'll be going. Uh, Something about the bounties. There are two government contracts. One's an assassin named Selvin, and the other is Bendix Starkiller. He's a famous deathmatch duelist. Between them, they're kill hundreds of people. Wrong with getting rid of people like that. As long as we don't end up on the list of their victims. But all the bounties are dangerous. David got some special contracts. One's for a girl named Daya. She attacked Holden, one of David's men. Another for a man named Largo, who owes David money. I don't know about David's special contracts. Justice is one thing. But doing a crime lord's dirty work is something. Then there's Patrick. I already killed him. Uh, do I collect credits from the contracts? Stavik's bounty sound more like contract killings. I need some information. Uh, I'm just in your data pad already, but if you don't want to look there, then I guess I can fill in you in. Do you want to know more about it? Did I kill Sel Selvin? I don't think so, eh? But she's a very dangerous woman. When she started, she was just another killer working for Davik. Then she began three lines in the highest bidder. One day she killed six citizens in the street and their bodyguards too. They were all Ulgols, a powerful merchant family with many enemies. Selvin was hired to kill off the whole family. Very good at her job each day. More Ulgols died. Poison at home, shot down in the street. Guards and droids couldn't protect them. After a month, there were no Ulgols left on Terrace, not one. Uh... It was never proven, but after the Ogles were all dead, the Organa family demanded the government put out a contract on Selvin. They said nobody was safe as long as Selvin was still three. But the Organa family were powerful rivals of the Ogles. Some think they were the ones who hired Selvin. Then they tried to ha have the bounty hunter killed to keep their secret from coming out. Oh, shit. But Tara's politics aren't concerned. You're just a bounty hunter. You kill Selvin, you get the credits. Then that's the important thing, right? Yep. Sure. I know the other guy's a deathmatch fighter, and I gotta do all the deathmatches first. Uh, this one was pretty tough to kill. Uh, good. Good to know. I don't even know where she is, so it's, it's alright. Alright, let's boogie on out of here.